Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am Forever Mimi. Coming to you because I am making my baby girl her favorite banana pudding. So, for those who know, y'all come along with me, come in my kitchen, and y'all help me put this banana pudding together. Because my baby girl called me and said, Mama, I need some banana pudding. I'm like, honey, well, you know, we can go to the store. No, no, no. Oh, no store bought. Some homemade. I said, all right, I got you. I got you. So guess what? She's over here at Mimi's house. And Mimi is going to cook it up for her girl. Okay? So, y'all, let's get started. We're going to run down these ingredients. If y'all hear some noise, that is my... Uh, that's my uh, son, Charlie Brown, known as Bryson, okay? <laughs> he don't like me calling him Charlie Brown, y'all. He just don't like it, so I may not have to call him. So, okay, for this recipe, we are going to get a bowl, and I got my spoon here. I got all these extra spoons and knives here. I don't know why. I guess I was working my jelly. Doing whatever. I got four, I got three of these, three of the jello mix. And I told baby girl to buy me a family size box, but what she do? She bring me three. Child, what I'm gonna do with three? Oh Lord. And watch, she gonna make me use every bit of it. Watch. Cause she like the food. So first thing is first, y'all, we get ready to um
just getting the rest of the pudding out. Y'all see right there, I'm all out of pudding. So I'm just gonna spread this and spread it, you know, just enough to get it around uh, all the cookies if I can. You're probably gonna see here that the uh, rest of the pudding that I had did not cover the cookies all the way, but that is okay because she wanted more cookies than anything. Y'all see here where I was telling y'all about where I did not get all of it and there is the bottom where the pudding is pushing down and yeah. So what I'm actually about to do now, I'm just gonna uh, finish doing my last little touches as y'all can see here and we're gonna go on to the next step and y'all see those cookie crumbs right there on my towel I am going to actually take some of those crumbs and just crush them up crush them up I wish I would have put them like in my um, I think I end up putting them in my little cutter you know to kind of crush them all up but I'm using what I have already and I'm just gonna sprinkle it around sprinkle this these cookies all the way around the top and I'm getting more here and I'm just gonna sprinkle some more around the top of the pudding part and I may just add a little bit more that's probably what I end up doing so y'all see how it came out the little chunks of cookies it could have been more finer but that's okay so here I actually chopped up some more uh, cookies and my whipped cream didn't do too well because I had just got it out the freezer so I just end up doing this here because most of it was still frozen so look what I did I, I guess I don't know what I was calling myself trying to do yeah but yeah um, she eventually is going to like it and I was trying to go around the end and that's when it stopped on me see it was froze so it wasn't complete thought out so yeah y'all I say it's my finished product 